Bandidos, I bring you the best build to go all Captain America in the Division 2. What would Captain America use if he was an agent of the Division? The Deflector Shield, and this is a new build for it thanks to Season 11 2023, bringing us a great new perfected talent. What do you think? Yes, I think it works. Hit like if unique and effective builds are for you, and comment Captain America to support the channel. The deflector shield is pretty unique and fun to use. It causes some unique behaviors, both good and bad, making it tricky to build for. Non-elites can't help but shoot at the shield when they do shoot. Sometimes they won't shoot at all and stare at you like a deer in headlights. 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 Blink, blink. Headlights. Elites most always shoot you in the head, avoiding the shield almost entirely, or they also go deer in headlights on you. Oh. Headlights. What? They're not even on. Because Heroic offers so many elites shooting at your head, it sets off a sort of knee-jerk reaction for agents to go back to the lab to assemble the tankiest build possible with max protection from elites. You do survive better, but now clearing content becomes painfully slow. That's because you weakened your outgoing damage, especially to your pistol, and elites don't shoot at your shield enough to use the shield as your main source of damage. You see agents standing on buildings and peeking the shield out of rooms to make it harder for elites to land their headshots. But if that's the only way to get the shield to work for you, wouldn't you be better off using the drone and turret? You do need added survivability for deflector shield builds, but the best way to handle the issue that come along with it is in the prioritization of weapon damage first, then tank, then skill, in that exact order. The best way to keep elites from shooting you in the face is to also shoot them in the face, preferably first. With the correct weapon, they will stagger, buying you enough time to kill them, often before they can even throw shots back at you. And that's the second part of the weapon damage first benefit, an ideal time to kill. And that's what this build brings for you today. It's balanced and brings it all, especially unique synergies. Taking a look at the deflector shield first, the deflector causes incoming bolts to ricochet at nearby highlighted targets. It's not a full body shield and requires you to only use your sidearm. So for mods, I got deflector damage. That's going to be important. Damage bonus per enemy, but really that's not working. There's just no other mod here. And then shield health. So, so you know, this is sort of like the Crusader and Striker shields. It is designed to break. It's not like the Bulwark shield that is invulnerable. But for the most part, if you build this correctly, it should be rare that it breaks. Explosive however are pretty good at shattering the shield so my cooldown is 16.7 seconds you got some good regen and health what we really want to look at here is that average damage and that's at 149,000, which is pretty strong and this is a tier shield 5 and as you can see what's unique about shields is that armor cores power up the tiers of the shields which is very unique and that's giving us an additional 50 percent deflector damage which is how we got our shield that strong now notice it does say average because that depends on the weapon type that the enemy is hitting you with we got a very tanky build and it's very unique the way I got it set up. Okay, there's some really cool synergies. I really suggest you run it like this. It has the best of everything you need to stay out of cover and have fun deflecting bullets at the same time. The primary and secondary weapon, you don't need to worry about. They're just kind of whatever. I just have them here because this is a 100% full-time pistol build. But before we get into the handgun details, let's take a look at one of the unique synergies of this build that's going to keep you alive. And that is the Ridgeway's Pride exotic chess piece. You get this chess piece by completing your summit project and it's a really good chess piece for shield builds because you're always fighting within 15 meters and if you do you get to take advantage of the talent called bleeding edge so bleeding edge basically shooting enemies within 15 meters applies bleed to the target and bleed of course slows the enemies down and does tick them which is a damage however what we want is all of that amazing regen so you can get up to 50 percent armor regen using this chest piece and i did run protection from elite so you are going to want to run some protection from elites on this build because there will be a lot of elites you 
shooting counter and many of them shooting at your head <laughs> but we got counter for that too so that's our main source of heals and that's important because armor alone isn't enough now i've seen builds with foundry and that's all right too but you sacrifice a lot of slots to be a tank that gives you some healing and there's more to that for this build as you can see i got lots of damage rolled on to this build and i'm going to walk you through it piece by piece so one of the unique synergies a lot of people don't know with the deflector shield build and ridge race pride is that when the enemy shoots your deflector shield the bullet sent back that hit the target activates Ridge Race Pride Bleeding Edge, which means you don't even have to shoot your gun and you're gonna activate this talent. So the enemies are activating them for you. The shield sends bleeding bullets. And so you're always healing whether you're shooting or not. Of course you wanna be shooting because you got great weapon damage, but the heals on your build are activated so easily and then in turn activates Creeping Death so easily. So you can have your chest and your backpack talent active without you ever needing to use your gun. And that means tons of heals for you as you're fighting so the backpack is all new it's the courier named backpack provided in season 11 and i've been waiting for this backpack to put out this build we actually created this build in season 10 and i was waiting for this perfect talent before i released it to you it's been thoroughly tested and i definitely recommend using this backpack let's get into the details so it's in habsburg that gives you 15 percent headshot damage we're killing with headshots so that's exactly what we want comes with an armor core also exactly what you want making this very easy to farm so i got headshot damage and skill damage you don't need a ton of weapon handling it does help for the d50 but balance that out with skill damage as well so you can power up that shield but you don't want too much skill damage there remember they're not always shooting at your shield so balance the build between skill damage and weapon handling headshot damage skill damage more protection from elites and then i got perfect creeping death that's right that's the new perfect talent that we're taking advantage of and i think this is the best use case for it to be honest with you when you apply a status effect it is also applied to all enemies within 10 meters of your target not of you of your target so that potentially pushes your spread of bleed out to 25 meters but the cooldown is 10 seconds on this and we're not worried about the cooldown so all you got to do is shoot one enemy and then all the enemies that are flanking on you are going to bleed too and that is going to push your armor regen per second to the higher limits on this chest piece without you having to slow down your time to kill by poking other enemies with shots before you focus fire on one to bring him down so this way you can stick to your priority target shoot him keep shooting him while your other ones continue to bleed and drive health into you the mask is the punch drunk another nice synergy this is the dmh with 20 percent pistol damage we got armor we got 20 percent headshot damage that's the perfect talent that makes this named mask special we got weapon handling and protection from elites you can also put skill damage instead of weapon handling if you're looking to be part of a strong positive community then i have you covered join texas discord we're not elitists and we're so much more than just clans and raids texas discord continues to grow as the central hub for the player base that loves this game and wants to see it thrive and if you love builds this is the spot also join texas players club to support the channel the cause while getting access to member perks and extra content like gaming music playlists click the join button below all right these are the only piece of improvised gear on this build and it's the gloves we got armor armor regen headshot damage and protection from elites and instead of regen you could put more skill damage there or weapon hand handling i'd prefer one of those two myself all right the knees are providence for 15 percent more headshot damage you can also go foxes here if you want to i have an armor core more headshot damage and weapon handling and then the bakaro's holster i got armor headshot damage and more weapon damage so this is basically giving me a free armor core is the way i look at it and now let's look at the gun so the d50 is what i ultimately recommend and that's because it's going to give you a flexible talent that you can tailor to your gameplay style okay so i got a 15 percent stability mod i tested everything with this okay and i feel like sadis is the best with this setup and this is going to give us 20 percent multiplicative weapon damage to bleeding enemies so damage to targets out of cover pistol damage and a mag size of eight makes this a very good gun it's not your only option however the liberty is my second favorite option with this and that's because it actually heals your shield too has better handling better rpms and higher base weapon damage so the higher base weapon damage basically makes up for what it's missing because it's not running sadist so it kind of evens itself out it's got the right stats on it with damage targets out of cover and those rpms are actually nice on this liberty it is definitely an easier to handle weapon look at that stability 
And then of course you can run the Regulus also. Very good weapon. But I know not everybody has it, so I decided not to feature this one. But you can blow people up with that. A quick look at stats. Of course, this is for the pistol. We have 210% headshot damage. We have 52% protection from elites. 10% armor on kill. And remember, the armor regen is coming from the chest piece. And because it's a talent, it's not listed here. I want to let you know about your other weapon talent possibilities that are also very great. And they were very hard to choose from. Again, in the end, I just decided to go with Sadis. But the other one that was very competitive to it was Preservation. So killing an enemy repairs 10% armor over 5 seconds. Headshot kills improve the repair by an additional 10, which is 20%. And so you're basically always adding 20% armor on kill or regen, which would be the equivalent of 4% regen per second to your heals. And that makes you almost indestructible at the very least very hard to kill and i ran it like this for a while and I went back and forth and back and forth and in the end i decided to give up preservation why because i decided to go ahead and run the gunner talent instead before i was running survivalist for that 10 percent increased protection from elites but i decided gunner was more valuable to get that 10% armor on kill because my protection from elites was fine because I was killing the elites fast enough. And so what this did was allow me to take preservation off my weapon and replace it with sadist or giving you the power to go to the liberty if you want to. And remember, the liberty can also fix your shield in case it gets close to being broken. And although you're aiming purely for headshots, you're actually still landing body shots on accident. And then when you do hit the head, it consumes it. So even if you're getting like three, six, nine, 12% shield repair, it is a constant repair that you're throwing on every few shots so it does the shield good in case you're wondering the determined talent doesn't work with this but great news the devs know that and are on it so look forward to a future patch fixing the determined talent with skills including the deflector so currently if you run this talent the deflector shield will consume your determined talent making it useless for you also wanted to do a special shout out to all you banditos we did it so thanks to to this video and all of your support you guys all did a really good job marking your thoughts down on this video and making sure it got to the devs attention so we published this video on this day and the very next day after the devs saw it, i know they would they opened up a card to investigate further changes to the determined talent hoping to make it closer to the description and expectations from that terminology so thank you again for all your support it worked if you haven't seen these unlimited explosive skill builds you need to check them out there's three of them for you Follow me.